uh, fuzzy based design uh, fuzzy based design so the uh, so the <clears throat> presentation today is titled fuzzy based system design for pattern <clears throat> recognition that is the second part of the yeah, uh, last last sessions discussion so here we will be uh, primarily focusing on the on the neuro fuzzy system or mainly we we shall be focusing on the fuzzy logic control so here that that will be fuzzy uh, logic control <clears throat> primarily uh, so we will be uh, focusing on the fuzzy logic control first then we will be speaking about the neuro fuzzy system then fuzzy neural system then finally we will be speaking about a hybrid systems that shall be the plan of the presentation so let's uh, let's start with the fuzzy logic control system now this is a special type of uh, uh, control system where we have uh, a fuzzy um, fuzzy system uh, that um, uh, that fuzzy uh, fuzzy system shall be the core of the of the control system. So uh, the traditional uh, control system shall have a uh, signal, a forcing function, a forcing signal, or some sort of a, uh, uh, a function, sine wave or a square wave. Then that will go to a go to a controller. Uh, that particular controller will be uh, will be feeding to a system. That particular system shall be the system that will be controlled by this by this controller the system will be generating an output signal that will have a feedback signal generated and that will uh, determine the controlling required for this particular system so uh, so compared to the traditional uh, uh, controller the fuzzy logic controller has some has some difference the Traditional controllers require uh, delicate uh, require delicate uh, and and uh, <coughs> complex uh, functions, mathematical functions. Fuzzy systems are much uh, much closer to the uh, to the to the control system with which our human system is familiar with. Then we have the a. And then, then fuzzy logic don't uh, don't rely much on the detailed mathematical uh, description. Uh, then fuzzy logic controllers are much uh, much closer to the biological systems, and fuzzy logic controllers are more designed and application specific, and they put less stress on detailed mathematical uh, description. Now, fuzzy and uh, fuzzy control uh, has fuzzy controllers that are more important, uh, um, that are most important uh, 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 with regards to the application of the fuzzy uh, fuzzy theory. They work somewhat differently than the than the uh, conventional uh, <coughs> controllers because they use Uh, they use the expert level knowledge. Uh, they they do not use the differential relations that are required to describe a system. This this knowledge can be can be represented in a very uh, natural way by the use of linguistic variables that are that are described by the fuzzy sets. So, in case of a fuzzy uh, fuzzy controller, we first have the fuzzification of the input data. We have the next stage will be the application of the uh, of the fuzzified data. Then finally, we have the de fuzzification of the data to generate the crisp numerical signals, uh, which are required to to communicate with the real world. So therefore, when we talk um, uh, regarding a fuzzy a fuzzy controller, we will have here in the first part there will be a fuzzy uh, fuzzy controller. There will be a reference signal set to it that will be generating a context signal U, 
that will drive the system which will re which will receive an input and then will be generating an output that will finally have a feedback coming to it and this particular feedback will be will be controlling the, the process of the fuzzy fuzzy controllers so we need to have appropriate <coughs> relationship uh, uh, relationships between the input and the outputs so that it <coughs> represents the complete capability of the uh, fuzzy logic controller so here is a complete architecture of the fuzzy logic controller here we have the input x that will be going through a uh, a normalization process then then there will be a fuzzy fire that will be that will be driven by a fuzzy uh, knowledge base then we have an inference block that will be and that will be deriving strength from the fuzzy rule base then it will be driving a d uh, d fuzzy fire that that shall be converting back the fuzzy signals to uh, to uh, to the crisp form and then the then the crisp form signals will drive the plant and the plant will generate the response that will that will fed back or will come through the sen sensors and then uh, those uh, those signals will be again normalized uh, and then the then the normalized form the signals will be coming back to the fuzzy fire where there will be a differential signal generated that particular differential signal shall be shall be going through the fuzzy fire now for the fuzzy logic controller to work we have the control inputs then we have the have the fuzzy sets the members the functions of the inputs we have the rules we have the control outputs then we have the fuzzy sets members the functions of the outputs we have the fuzzy reasoning then we have the defuzzification process now the now the <coughs> classical fuzzy logic controller will just or can be just summarized by three or four four steps first here there will be a competitor plus minus so that will be a competitor that particular competitor will be generating an error signal e here we have a fuzzy logic controller uh, that will be driving a process which will be generating an output y that will come back and then again generate this e signal which will be in a differential form then we have the fuzzy logic controller and a conventional uh, <coughs> proportional <laughs> integral <coughs> derivative uh, uh, controller. So this particular uh, this particular uh, signal or this particular process has both the fuzzy logic controller and the PID controller working together and then generating a uh, a differential signal that will drive the drive the process now for the uh, presence of the fuzzy logic controller we find that the that the pid will work uh, better then that will lead to superior control function uh, given to the to the process or the plant that will result in superior responses so if we have a fuzzy logic controller of the mandami type we have uh, we have a uh, block diagram of this type where we have a fuzzy controller here uh, then there will be dynamic system a dynamical system there the dynamical system will be will be receiving a control signal coming from the fuzzy fuzzy controller so this dynamic system can have a disturbance signal coming as an input that will be generating an output signal this will come back and here in this uh, differentiator or a competitor will be will be combining with a command signal and will be generating an error signal e of t so if we now uh, think about the uh, the differentiation of d e this t e and e we can have several uh, several representations 
very low, not, not low, not small. Uh, then ZD is one more state, then uh, PS is one more state, state and PL is one more sta state. So these states now can be further, uh, further fuzzified and, uh, and the fuzzified forms will go to the fuzzy, fuzzy controller for generating the fuzzy uh, control response. Now, uh, now there is one more, one more form of the fuzzy logic uh, controller that is called a multi-layer fuzzy logic uh, controller. So here is one such block. So he, uh, here we will have the system's inputs that will go to this block that is the execution layer where we have a uh, execution layer controller that will come, that will drive a, a, a supervisor layer that particular so supervisor layer will have a reference signal. That particular reference signal shall be, shall be followed. And finally, the, the differential signal shall be called, be, uh, shall be the signal re responsible for the generation of the multi-layer fuzzy logic controller signal. This can be now, uh, now designed by the help of the civil link uh, given in the MATLAB. So here can be a step, step function driving a, uh, a comparator, then there will be a gain stage, then there will be one more, uh, one more combiner. Then we will have the fuzzy logic controller, then there will be a transport delay, then there will be a transfer function representing a plant, and then finally a discrete filter, and that will be there in the feedback loop. Then in the in the feedback loop there shall be a gain. So this will be the feedback path that will drive this this combiner. And finally from this from this response we will have one more uh, one more block. So this particular block uh, will be will be generating the uh, generating the feedback path coming directly to this to this competitor. So the final uh, final control signal going to the to the plant will be a control signal where there are many forms of uh, many forms of the signal or there is a there is a transfer function representing the plant. Now there are several uh, several benefits linked with the fuzzy logic uh, controller. There is no need of a definite. Uh, definite mathematical um, model. That's one. It's less sensitive to system fluctuations. Its design objectives are difficult to represent mathematically, but can be incorporated in a fuzzy logic controller by linguistic rules. Then its implementation is simple and straightforward. Now let's see where we can use the fuzzy logic uh, controller. It, it's used for traffic uh, control, a steam engine, and flight control system, uh, uh, missile control, then adaptive control, liquid level control, and lot lot many in all of the all of the control situations where you need to have precise control, you can use the fuzzy logic controller. Uh, in all, all situations where precision is a, is a factor, we can use the fuzzy logic controller. So this part we can summarize. Uh, we can uh, summarize that it's quite simple to work with a fuzzy logic controller uh, and that can, be, that can be configured for difficult to uh, mm, mm, difficult to control processes. It's quite simple to understand the, the base rule in simple cases, then there's no need to use, uh, there's no need to use uh, fuzzy logic controller in straightforward linear cases if it, uh, implementation reasons would not require it complications will uh, will come up when the size of the rule base uh, goes up now let's come to the fuzzy neural systems now the most most common thing to note is that the 
uh, the fuzzy systems they can deal with the uncertainty fuzzy systems can track very small uh, small variations they are they are driven by a rule base but they are but their drawback is that they have no means to implement this this particular rule base so they need some sort of a help and they need some sort of a learning learning mechanism that can learn retain and then use the rule base subsequently so this is the this is the basis of formation of the fuzzy neural neural systems where uh, the where the fuzzy rule base is implemented and is combined with a neural network so we can find that the nn is formed uh, is like a nervous system that has low low level uh, perceptive and signal integration characteristics while the fuzzy part represents the emergent high level reasoning capability so let's see how uh, how it works so we can have a fuzzy fuzzy neural system when a neural system is driven by the by the fuzzy sets now the now the fuzzy sets will be will be receiving uh, responses from the from the membership functions and a loop and a rule learning block so this this particular stage of rule rule learning red and membership function shall be shall be feeding a fuzzy set and that that particular fuzzified form will be driving a neural neural system so if a fuzzified form of representation drives a neural network that will be called a fuzzy neural network so fuzzification of neural networks give rise to the fuzzy neural network so we know that the ANNs uh, have the capacity to recognize uh, patterns, but they uh, they uh, cannot deal with how they reach their decisions, or they they can't tell how they reach the decisions. Fuzzy logic system can reason with uh, with imprecise content. They are they are capable of explaining their decisions, but they cannot automatically uh, create their rules, learn them and, and retain them and use it for deriving decisions. These, these limitations are central force behind the creation of intelligent hybrid systems. Two or more techniques are combined in a manner that overcomes these limitations of individual techniques. So while fuzzy logic <laughs> provides an inference mechanism uh, that, that will be based on <clears throat> cognitive uncertainty, uh, we will find that, uh, that uh, computational ANNs give certain uh, benefits such as learning uh, adaptation, fault tolerance, <coughs> parallelism, and generalization. Now, to enable a, a system to deal with deal with cognitive uncertainties in a in a manner more like the humans, uh, a system that uh, that. incorporates the, the concept of fuzzy logic into the a and ends give rise to fuzzy neural systems so how are these how are these <coughs> configured uh, there there can be two way one there there can be three three main ways one is the cooperative second one is the concurrent and the third one is the hybrid in the in the cooperative way we find there will be an uh, there will be an offline method and an online method 
So in both both cases, the uh, the systems are meant to learn, uh, and in the in the concurrent way, we find that the two techniques are applied simultaneously uh, in, with a pre and pro and post uh, processing phase. But in the case of the hybrid one, we find that the fuzzy systems being being represented as a network structure, making it uh, uh, feasible to take the benefits of learning algorithm linked with the ANNs. So here is a diagram of a fuzzy fuzzy neuron where we find that the that the feeds uh, that the feeds like the x1, x2, and so on will be in the in the fuzzified form, which shall be also in a fuzzified form. Rest of the things are like the like the conventional uh, conventional neuron, conventional artificial uh, neuron. So here we find that uh, weighted sums of inputs, more general aggregate function is here, here used. Fuzzy union, fuzzy intersection, and more generally the, the S and the T norms can be used as an aggregation function for the weighted input to an artificial neuron. So if we have multiple such fuzzy, fuzzy neurons <coughs> combined in uh, several layers and are linked by, uh, by or and, and or and, and or uh, neuron, uh, neuron configurations such that they can deal with the if then or, or say if else statements they lead to the formation of multi-layered fuzzy neural networks. <clears throat> so uh, once we once we can uh, we can uh, configure a fuzzy neural network that will be based on on supervised learning, and with the supervised learnings, the weights can be tuned, the weights can be um, uh, varied, uh, changed as the as the system goes on with the with the, with the training. We give it uh, a training pairs of, of a small x k and d k, where small x k shall be the pattern and d k uh, d k shall be the shall be the target for different counts of k one two three up to n. Then the weight weight changes will take place as per the the gradient descent rule. And then finally, we will find that uh, as like the uh, uh, like the conventional uh, back back propagation here also learning will take place so for that uh, for that gradient descent take place uh, the fuzzy fuzzy neural network two also will be will be deriving a function del of wij uh, with a step function uh, uh, <coughs> scaling the differentiation of e with respect to wij and that minus sign showing that it is doing a gradient descent. So a, a, a very, uh, a very, <coughs> a very popular fuzzy neural network uh, is called the Nefrox Neuro Fuzzy Function Approximator. That is a, a three-layer feed-forward networks, uh, feed-forward network that will have certain, uh, certain, uh, certain input variables that will have certain hidden layers, fuzzy rules, and uh, output variables. Uh, so these will work together uh, so as to use the fuzzified formats and then generate uh, a response that can be used by the real world uh, since it comes out finally in a crisp format. So, uh, so here, is the, here is the complete uh, complete structure uh, that, the, that the nephrox will have. So here we will have a few uh, feeds uh, that, are the, uh, that are the small x1, small x2, small xn, uh, going through the layers, going through the, through the layers, and they, they, will be, they will be connecting, they shall be 
uh, they shall be connected to the next layer, uh, uh, which will be the form of the hidden rule. Uh, these are called R1, R2, RK uh, blocks, and they will drive the next layer so that we can we can derive the Y1, Y2. In some in, in some layers, there there shall be or end uh, logic to combine the fuzzy rules, and in some block, in some layers, there will be n or n or combination to combine the fuzzy rule set. So here is one one more one more depiction of the fuzzy neural models. So there can be two uh, <coughs> probable models for representation. First, we will have here the linguistic statements, the fuzzy fuzzy interface <coughs> that will be generating perception as the neural inputs going to the neural network. Uh, here, there will be the learning uh, uh, learning mechanism going on. And then the, finally, the decisions will be, will be derived. That is the first form of the representation. And in the second form, we will have a multi-layered ANN that drives the fuzzy uh, decision-making uh, mechanism. So here we will have a neural network. It will be generating a response. There will be the fuzzy decision-making block. The knowledge base shall be there. And here the decision shall be there. That, that particular decision will drive the learning, uh, learning uh, mechanism. And this will finally help the neural network to learn. Uh, and then that we develop the, uh, the fuzzy neural representation capability. <coughs> So this will work work uh, work together uh, by the by the combination of of uh, falsification, uh, learning by the use of back back propagation, decision making, uh, de 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 falsification for uh, for making them possible for use in the crisp format. Now this is quite frequently used in the fuzzy neural photocopier. Uh, system. So here, that that is a Japanese um, Japanese technology. This this particular Japanese uh, uh, system uh, developed by uh, uh, Matsushita uh, will take many uh, many feeds: temperature, tonal density, uh, Im image density of the background, image density of the solid bl uh, black. Uh, uh, Exposed uh, image density. Now all these uh, will be uh, taken as pattern feeds to the fuzzy system. Now its its controlling will be done by the help of a neural network that will have an exposure control lamp. That there will be a grid voltage control. There will be a bias voltage uh, control, and then there will be a toner density control. It gives very good results. Then there is one more uh, use of the fuzzy neural system, that is the uh, Dachi uh, washing machine. Uh, here you will have the uh, have a feed for, for the clothes mass, the clothes quality. Uh, then you will have one more uh, one more neural uh, block, that is, the, that is a neural block. And here, the clothes mass and the clothes quality shall be dealt with by the by the fuzzy system. While the, while the clothes mass, the clothes quality, and the and the and the electrical conductivity shall be dealt by the neural network. Uh, both of these together will uh, derive a control function for water speed flow. Uh, then the, the Washing time, then the then the ringing time, spinning time, and and corrective value. So it gives a very reliable performance, uh, where both the fuzzy and the neural systems combine together to generate very good quality wash. Now let's come to the, the hybrid soft computing techniques. Now here there shall be three main parts. The first part will be the neural computing part. We have we have spoken about that. And then fuzzy logic we have dealt with. 
with the with the previous two uh, lectures then we have the ga or the genetic algorithm that is uh, based on the on the darwinian uh, darwinian <coughs> principle of natural uh, uh, law of selection survival of the of the fittest now this this ga is used primarily for the uh, for the adaptive search and it is best known uh, for use as an optimization technique so the main uh, main uh, uh, philosophy behind the use or the design of the hybrid system is the fact that uh, the neural the fuzzy and the ga systems are <coughs> combined together the strong points of all these three three systems are combined together to solve real world problems so the use of the hybrid <coughs> systems are growing rapidly with successful use in domains like the engineering design stock market medical diagnostics process control paid card <coughs> transactions and certain uh, certain cognitive simulations now there are very types of hybrid systems like the neuro fuzzy hybrid uh, system neuro genetic hybrid system fuzzy genetic hybrid system now in the case of the neuro uh, fuzzy hybrid system we find that the neuro fuzzy uh, will be will be combining together and forming a learning a learning mechanism that will use training and learning uh, process from the neural networks and use the parameters of a fuzzy system so here is a structure of a neuro fuzzy hybrid system uh, is a three layered neural network uh, that can be uh, the first layer corresponds to the input variables the second third layer will be will be corresponding to the fuzzy rules and the output variables respectively the fuzzy sets are are converted to fuzzy uh, connection weights now <laughs> there are two types of a neuro <laughs> fuzzy hybrid systems the first one is the is the is the cooperative neuro fuzzy system second one is the general neuro fuzzy hybrid system now in the case of the cooperative neuro fuzzy system we find that both an artificial neural network and fuzzy system will work independently the ann will try to learn the parameters from the fuzzy system then the general neuro fuzzy hybrid system will look like this there will be a uh, a distortion a computation distortion generated in this block which will be linked with a neural network uh, block that will be based on uh, a configuration to deal with the if then if then rules so it will generate a control control function so this this particular control function will be will be driving a system on the on the consideration a response will come from this particular system that will drive the neural network module and shall be responsible for generating the computing error <clears throat> then we come to the near the general neuro hybrid systems uh, a neuro a uh, neuro genetic uh, hybrid or or a uh, or a genetic neuro hybrid system is one uh, in, in which an ann will use a ga to optimize its uh, structural parameters such that it leads to the formation of its architecture and the properties of the genetic neuro hybrid systems are the are the parameters of the ann are encoded by ga uh, as a string of properties of the of the network 
that is its chromosomes a large uh, large population of chromosomes shall be generated which re, uh, which represent the many possible parameter sets for the given neural network then the ga neural network or ga and then uh, has the has the capability to locate the neighborhood of the optimal solution quickly compared to the rest of the rest of the <clears throat> conventional search techniques so here is a block diagram of a of a genetic neuro hybrid system first we start with a uh, initial <clears throat> population that will do a selection then there will be a fitness fitness calculation that will be that will be coming from an ann uh, one feed from here and it will be far, further uh, further giving a feed to the ann then the then the fitness uh, calculation will drive a re, re, re production crossover uh, mutation block then there will be a stop stop condition set now uh, with this stop condition there will be one more um, string of blocks so those those string of blocks uh, those those string of blocks will will have here uh, and uh, a n n g a block uh, which will be used for doing the prediction that will generate uh, generate clusters from which selection shall be made and the best selection shall be based on a ga based optimization so this is how a genetic uh, neuro hybrid system can be configured now what are the what are the uh, plus points we will see here the ga performs the optimization of the neural network uh, parameters with simplicity ease of operation then minimal <coughs> minimal requirements and uh, and the uh, global perspective then ga helps to find out complex structures of the ann for the given input and the output data set by the use of its learning rate as a fitness function then the hybrid approach mm, uh, will combine a powerful model that could significantly uh, improve the <clears throat> predictability of the system under construction so then uh, then there is one more uh, system called the uh, genetic hybrid systems the uh, hybridization of the ga and the fuzzy logic can be can be <clears throat> performed in the following two ways by the use of the fuzzy logic based techniques for improving uh, ga behavior and modeling the ga uh, ga components that is called the fuzzy genetic algorithm by the use of the gas in various optimization and search uh, search <coughs> problems by the use of the fuzzy logic principles now what are the what are the what are the plus points gas will allow us to represent different kinds of structures uh, such as weights weights features together with rule parameters permitting us to code multiple models of knowledge representation this will uh, give us a wide range of approaches where it is required to design specific genetic components for uh, for evolving a specific re, uh, re representation then ga is efficiently optimizes the rule membership functions the uh, the different rule rule base and the 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 database and the and the uh, knowledge base the fuzzy systems the the methodology used is quite simple and the fitness individual is identified during the process 
Now, where we use the fuzzy logic, uh, uh, fuzzy logic based systems, we use it in ride the smoothness control camcorder, uh, the braking systems, copier quality control, rice cooker temperature, high high performance drives, then air conditioning systems. Now, now, and where we use the GAs, we use it uh, the job job shop scheduling, uh, then manufacturing the cell designs, fixture designs, several scheduling problems, traveling salesman problem, energy optimization, and so on. Our last part shall be the neuro fuzzy systems. So here we find that uh, this is a hybrid intelligent system that that combines two two different technologies neural network with a fuzzy system the and the combination of probabilistic reasoning fuzzy logic neural networks and uh, evolutionary computing forms the core of soft computing so we can further use the neural uh, the neuro fuzzy system to to configure a neural expert system. The expert system relies on logical inferences and <clears throat> decision trees and focus on modeling the human reasoning. Neural networks rely on parallel data processing and focus on modeling a human brain. Expert systems treat the brain as a black box, neural uh, networks look at its structure and functions, particularly in its ability to, to learn. Then we can say that the, that the uh, knowledge is a rule-based uh, expert system and is represented by, uh, by a set of, set of if-then <laughs> production rules. Knowledge in the neural network is stored as synaptic weights between the neurons then the layers. In expert systems, uh, knowledge can be divided into the individual rules and the uh, user can see and understand the piece of knowledge applied by the, by the, by the system. In the ANN, one we cannot select a single synaptic weight as a discrete piece of knowledge. Here, knowledge is <coughs> captured in the entire network. It cannot be broken to, uh, uh, to smaller, uh, smaller pieces or segments, and, and a change of the synaptic weight may lead to un <clears throat> predictable result. A neural network can be considered to be a black box for the for the user. We can combine the advantages of the expert systems and the neural networks to create a more powerful and effective expert system, a hybrid system that combines a neural network and a rule-based expert system is called a neural expert system or a connectionist expert system. So here is a basic structure of a neural expert system. First, we have a new data. Next, we have a training data. We have here a neural knowledge base formed by a neural network. Then we have a rule uh, extraction block that will be formed by rules like, uh, like the if and then. Then we have, an, uh, have a decision-making block. Then we have the explanation facilities. Then we have the user interface that will be communicating with the user. So the heart of a neural expert system is the inference block. It controls the content flow in the system and initiates decision-making throughout the neural knowledge base. A neural inference block 
uh, guarantees uh, approximate reasoning. So what is an approximate reasoning? We can, we can consider the approximate reasoning to be a rule-based expert system. The, uh, the decision-making system compares the condition part of each rule with data given in the database. Uh, when the if part of, of the rule matches the data in the, in the database, the rule is fired and its then part is executed. The uh, precise matching is required. Then neural uh, expert system uh, use a trained uh, neural network uh, in place of the knowledge base. The, the, the fed data does not, uh, does not require to be precisely matching uh, data that was used in the network training. <clears throat> this is called, this is linked to the, uh, to the capability of approximate reasoning. So here is how uh, this block shows how the neural knowledge base is formed. So we can deal with the, deal with the detection of barred plane and glider. So we can have a, a learning block, a feature block for wings, tails, beak, feathers, and gin. So they can have different layers of, or, uh, or means of representation through which the firing rules. These are the firing rules, point, uh, uh, minus 0 0.8, minus 1.6, minus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.1. So these are different uh, uh, different path gains of this of this connection that will lead to the lead to the formation of rule one, rule two, rule three. So rule one shall be linked to the detection of bird. Rule two with the plane, and rule three with with the with the with the glider. So this neural knowledge base will be will be creating sufficient capability to make discrimination between the three three classes by the use of the of the knowledge base created by the use of the neural network so here we will find that an inference can be made if the known net uh, not net weighted values uh, to a neuron is is greater than the sum of the absolute values of the weights of the unknown inputs so xi wi summation from i going to 1 to n when is greater than the weights wj then where i is uh, known and j is unknown and the n is a number of neurons and neuron feeds then we can find an uh, inference to be generated so how we can uh, formulate a multi layer knowledge base so there there can be eight different rules. So if, if and then, if and then, uh, if and then. So they will there. There shall be eight different uh, rules here. So these eight different rules now have eight different uh, eight different representations: R one, R two, R three, R four, R five, R six, R seven, R eight. So they will be linked with an input layer, then comes a conjunction layer, then comes a disjunction layer, then comes a conjunction layer, and then finally one more, one more disjunction layer. So a, a, so a combination of the, of the conjunction and disjunction together leads to the decision making. So this, this creates a multi-layer knowledge base. So, so the heart of this multi-layer knowledge base is uh, leads to the formation of the neurofuzzy system. So here in the neuro neurofuzzy system, we find that fuzzy logic and neural uh, neural networks will work in a natural complementary supplementary role to build intelligent systems. So while neural networks will use low level computational structures that uh, uh, that will perform well when dealing with, with raw data. 
fuzzy logic deals with the with the reasoning on the higher level by the use of linguistic content acquired from the domain. And then uh, we will find that fuzzy logic or fuzzy systems will lack the capability to learn and they're not tuned themselves uh, to suit into a new environment. But we know that with the use of the neural networks, uh, they can work in a complementary supplementary manner. So here is a neural fuzzy system. So here is in the here there will be the layer one. So layer one will have a feeding layer. They will be doing a fuzzification. Layer two, this will be the layer two. Here will be the layer three. Layer three will be the loop. Rule, rule base layer four will be the D, D fatification rule. And finally, rule five will be the summation layer where the decision shall be made. So layer one is an input layer. Uh, each, uh, each neuron in this layer transmits a, an external crisp signal directly to the next layer. So here is the, here is the process. The layer two is, the, is a fuzzification layer. So there will be a number of <coughs> membership functions that will be doing the classification. So we can use the triangular uh, triangular uh, membership function. We can use the Gaussian uh, membership function. We, we can use the L membership function. The third layer is called the fuzzy rule layer, where we can use a combination of and or to uh, to combine a number of fuzzification layers so there there can be rules for for uh, rules from r1 to r8 or r7 that will be uh, that will be dependent upon the, the choice and then uh, with this and or and or combination we can combine the rules as per the requirement then the layer four is the output membership layer, where in this layer, the neurons uh, all in the in the fuzzy format will be will be converted uh, through a de defuzzification process, where the where the fuzzy signals will be will be converted back into a crisp format, and here we will use the fuzzy operation union. Then this can be also implemented by the use of a probabilistic or just like uh, here so y i shall be a combination of x1 i or with x2 i or with x l i so on and so forth so this uh, this uh, the value of mu ci will represent the integrate firing strength of the fuzzy rule neurons r3 and r6 then layer 5 is a d defuzzification layer each layer in this neuron represents a single output of the neural fuzzy system. It takes the output fuzzy sets split uh, <coughs> by, uh, by the respective integrated firing strength and combines them into a single fuzzy sets. Neural fuzzy systems can apply standard defuzzification methods like the centroid technique. So, we have talked um, uh, regarding the, uh, the different de defuzzification uh, techniques in, in our last uh, lecture. Here is one such method where uh, uh, how, uh, how the de de defuzzification is done. So how does a neurofuzzy system learn that will use uh, the learning capability of a multi-layer neural network? So it will use the, the back propagation learning, then will will combine that, that particular learning to derive the strength of fuzzy and neural systems together. So here is the is the training uh, training. Here is a is a training. We find here different planes generated. X1 and X2 are two two different planes of feed. They will be they shall be combining together to generate a response Y while, while going through five different layers of a neurofuzzy uh, network. So a five rule neurofuzzy system will look something like this. So this particular layer will have five different, different neurons. So it will, uh, so X1 and X2 are two, uh, 
inputs. So they will be passed through through uh, two uh, fuzzification uh, processes and are combined to form five different layers, five five different rule sets in the third layer, and then the, those will be those will be combining to generate the decision. And 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 while we do the do the do the trading, how the weights will change. This particular uh, diagram uh, recorded during the training will so. Now, uh, so suppose that the fuzzy, uh, fuzzy, uh, uh, fuzzy rule set of the, of the if and then uh, rules are incorporated there into the system structure are supplied by a domain. expert so prior uh, knowledge can uh, dramatically make the system learning better <clears throat> further if the if the quality of the training data is poor the expert knowledge can be the lone way to make a solution suitable for the specific purpose so uh, so here the the data if they are not sufficiently uh, are qualified or if the data are not of some certain quality, yet the fuzzy neural combination can make them make the learning better. I mean, since, uh, that means since the fuzzy system can deal with minor, minor variations and can deal with the, uh, the uncertainty in the data, therefore, if there are quality problems in the, in the data, the fuzzy systems can deal with it. <coughs> okay. So uh, we can uh, we can uh, um, combine the linguistic values uh, in both the input and the output ca uh, output cases, and then the neuro fuzzy system can automatically generate a complete set of fuzzy uh, uh, fuzzy if then rules, and then make the system work. So for a eight system eight rule system, the network will look like this. So eight different rule sets sets can be there so it will be a bit of computationally demanding but will have greater precision will have greater precision <clears throat> so we can here summarize the neuro fuzzy systems these to be uh, we we can call these to be a combination of the fuzzy logic and the neural uh, neural network they form powerful means for designing intelligent systems domain knowledge can be put uh, to a fuzzy neural system by human experts in form of linguistic variables and fuzzy rules when a representative set of uh, examples are collected a fuzzy neural system can automatically transform it into a robust set of fuzzy rules and, and thereby reduce the dependence on the expert knowledge while building intelligent systems. So where we use, we use fuzzy systems, fuzzy logic systems in all uh, domains. <clears throat> These are pattern recognition and classification, fuzzy clustering, yeah, 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 and then the image and speech processing, fuzzy systems for prediction, fuzzy control, monitoring, uh, diagnosis, optimization, and decision making, group decision making. Here are some of the references. So, I would now like to request you all to raise one or two questions. I shall be pleased to reply. So, uh, so the next class on next uh, Tuesday, I shall be uh, covering deep deep learning. So that will be the last class, and on a date uh, that will be comfortable for you all, I plan to take a test that will be a 
multiple choice test, very short test in the Google Classroom. You all can take part, very simple multi-choice questions, all taken from the slides that I have uh, shared with you all. So I think you will be all uh, uncomfortable with that uh, particular test. I will talk with Dr. Kaplan and then fix a date. Maybe uh, on, on 30th of, uh, of November, we can take the test. On that test, on that day, we can go through a very fun field test uh, done by the use of the Google Google um, Classroom. So, with these, I uh, come to an end uh, and hope that the session was quite um, beneficial to you all. So then, thank you.